we're just about ready to start our Jasper Johns inspired art project. But first, let's learn a little bit about Jasper Johns. He was born on May 15, 1930. So how old would that make him now? Talk with your table mates and see if you can figure that out. Pause the video if you need to. Jasper Johns was from Augusta, Georgia, and he is still living. This is one of his drawings. Can you see all of the numbers 0 through 9 in the drawing? Let's take a look. Here is the 0. Here is the 1. And the 2 has a little ball on the front. Comes around like this, down here, and swoops back up. The three also has a little ball that starts it. There's that center point and comes back around. The number four is here. The number five. Kind of easy to see that little, I like to call it the elbow of the five. It comes around, it also has a little ball. The six starts at the top with a little ball and comes down and around. The seven starts here and comes up, comes across, and comes down. The eight is probably one of the easier ones to see in my opinion because we see that diagonal line created by that figure eight. And then lastly, the number nine starts here, comes around, and ends with the ball down on this end. Here's another work by Jasper Johns called Zero Through Nine. This one was created in 1961 and is at the Tate Museum in London. Again, let's see if we can find all of the numbers zero through nine in the, in the painting. So here we have the zero. The one has that little swoop up and then down. And the two comes around here, has that little point kind of at the bottom on this one. Comes up. The three, again, there's that little center point. Comes around. The four is kind of easy to see too because you can see the diagonal of that line and then some very straight lines here. The five is here, comes around to the ball. The six, remember, starts with the ball at the top, comes down and around and in. The seven swoops up and across. The eight, again, gives us those clues in that diagonal of the figure eight. And then remember the nine starts here, comes around, and ends in a ball down here. Let's take a look at one more. It's a little tougher this time. Again, zero through nine. Let's see if we can find them all. So we've got a zero, a one, a two, a three. There's that little point giving us that clue. The four has that diagonal. The five ending in that little ball. Six starting with the ball at the top and coming around. Seven coming up, swooping over and down. The eight gives us that diagonal right through the center. And lastly, our nine starting here, coming around and ending with a ball. So now what are we going to do for our project? Well, we're going to be using a large map board and very large number stencils for this project. First, I want you to pick your three favorite numbers to trace onto your board with a pencil. It's very important that you use pencil at this point. I picked the number 3, 1, and 9 because those are the area code for our particular area that we live in. We will trace with a Sharpie later, so please be sure that you're using pencil at this point. Here is my first number. You should trace your first number right side up. So here's my three. 
second number is placed over the first number, but this time it should be traced upside down. So my one is actually upside down. My third number is placed over the first two and can be traced in any direction you choose, either right side up or upside down or backwards. I did my nine backwards. Next, you're going to find three objects around the room to trace onto your design somewhere. But let me caution you, if you find an object, it is your responsibility to return that object to where you found it, and not just leave objects randomly placed around the art room when we're done. Here's my first one. I used a tape dispenser off of my desk, and I traced it, and you can see it right here on my project. The second thing I used was a pair of scissors and I left it open a little bit and I traced it right here and I made it so the blades of my scissors go off my paper just a little bit to add a little bit of interest. The third thing I found was a bottle of hand lotion and I traced it in this area. Again, I had it go off my paper just a little bit to create a little extra interest. Lastly, now you're going to trace all of your pencil lines neatly and carefully with a Sharpie marker. Neatly and carefully is extremely important at this point, so take your time. It's not a race. It's not a contest to see who gets done first. It is a challenge for you to do your absolute very best work. Lastly, one important thing. Don't forget to put your name on the back your section, and also your table assignment so we know where to put your project in case it gets misplaced. Have a great day and have fun with this project.